hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create and verify an oks account i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create an oks account and also how you can verify the oks account so guys it's very easy to do just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to download and install the oks app so guys now for you to do that you have to go over to your play store and that's if you're using an android device but if you're using an iphone device or an ios device what you have to do is to go over to your app store so guys let me go over to my play store since i'm using an android device in this tutorial today so let me tap on my play store right away so guys once your play store or your app store opens up the next step you have to take now is to tap on the search bar at the top you can see it there so let me tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take now is to type in okx app you have to type it in so let me type it in okx app so guys, once you type it, what you have to do now is to tap on search. So let me tap on search. So guys, now you can see the app right there. The arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see the OEX app. You can see the logo. You can see the name there. OEX buy bitcoin btc and crypto so guys what i have to do now is to actually install this app into your phone as you can see there i've already installed it that's why i can see open is there but if you've not installed it you're going to see install so you have to tap on install to install it into your phone so guys, after you're done installing it what you have to do is actually tap on open so guys, let me tap on open right away so guys now you can see the okx app is opening so guys now you can see what is written here sign up and get rewards so what you have to do is to tap on sign up slash login so let me tap on it right away so guys, now you can see what is written there, create account, sign up and get rewards. So guys, you can see what is written there, email address. You have to input your email address for you to be able to create an account. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. But guys, there are other means to actually create an account right here. You can actually use your Google account or your Twitter account. You can see down there, the arrow is pointing at it. You can see those two options there. So guys, whichever means they want to use will work hard fine. You can use your email address, you can use your Google account or your Twitter account. But in this video tutorial today, I'm going to be using my Google account. If you want to use your email, just input your email. Email, then the next step you have to provide a code that will be sent to your email the code will be sent to your email with the code then you can use it to verify your email address so guys let me go ahead now to tap on google account i want to use my google account so let me tap on the google logo right away so guys now you can see these are all the multiple google accounts that i have in my phone so what i have to do now is to choose the google account i want to use to create my oks account so let me choose one right away let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's loading so guys now the next thing you have to do now is to solve this puzzle as you can see here what you have to do now is to move the puzzle from the left hand side to the right hand side so that it's going to fit into that shape right there you can see me using the slider so you guys can see it so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what is written there select your country or region of residence ensure your residency matches with the one on your id or your proof of address so guys now for you to select your country what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written select country or region of residence so guys you can see the arrow pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see here are the list of countries that you can actually choose from so what you have to do now is to find your country but in case you're finding it hard to look for your country what you have to do now is to tap on the search bar at the top so you can type in the name of your country so guys let me type in nigeria so guys now you can see nigeria right there so let me tap on it now to select it so guys now you can see nigeria has been selected so guys the next step you have to take now is to mark that box on the left hand side you can see there the arrow is pointing at it by tapping on it you're agreeing to okx terms and privacy policy so guys let me do that right away so guys let me tap on next now let me tap on next you can see where the arrow is pointing at so guys now you can see what is written here ensure your residency matches your residency must match the one on your id card or proof of address changing your country or region of residence after confirmation will require additional verification so guys what you have to do is to make sure you choose the country that actually issued you the id card that you want to use for your verification on this platform just make sure you choose the country so you don't have any complication as we go forward so guys what you have to do now is to tap on confirm to go back to the next step so let me tap on it wow guys can see what's written there sign up successful so guys now you can see i have successfully created an okx account so guys now the next step you have to take now is actually to verify your account and for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written verify now you can see the arrow is pointing at it so guys let me tap on it right away you can see it there verify now so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see what's written here verify your identity to comply with regulations we need to verify your identity doing so helps you secure your account and allows you to access our services you will receive rewards when you're done you will need to provide id and selfie verification and also personal information so guys let me tap on verify now you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap 
So guys, now you can see here is the next step, identity verification, select your ID type. So guys, first of all, you have to select your country. As you can see there, my country has been automatically selected. So the next step now is to select ID and for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written, select ID. So guys, let me tap on it. So guys, here are the different types of ID that we have. You can see there are actually five of them that are recommended. The first one there is banking verification number which is bvn the second one is national identification number which is your name the third one is driver's license the fourth one there is national id card while the last one is passport which may be your international passport so guys what you have to do is to go for the id type that you have in your possession let me go for the fourth option which is national id card that's the one i have so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see over there national id card has been selected so let me tap on next so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what's written there enable camera permission allow okx to assess your camera for verification operations this includes capturing and uploading documents making selfies scanning qr codes making video calls and more so guys what you have to do is to tap on continue you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it then you tap on allow to allow OKS to take pictures and record video so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait it gets to 100 percent let's just be patient then after this we are going to start our identity verification where we have to upload our documents take pictures and capture our faces and the rest of it so guys now let's just wait a few seconds so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there get your national id card ready make sure you capture a clear and a complete image so guys you can see down there the kind of image that they don't want your image must not be cropped your image must not contain clear and it must not be blurry so guys now after that what you have to do now is to tick that box there on the left hand side you can see where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it to mark it by doing that you're giving them the consent to actually collect and process your personal information so guys after that what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written start verification so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see here is the first step you can see what is written there front side of national id card so guys you need to capture the front side of your national id card so guys you can see my national id card right there so let me capture it let me hold it still so guys now you can see what is written there uploading so guys let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now you can see what is written here id captured so guys what you have to do now is to tap on next so let me do that so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what is written there back side of national id card so you have to turn to the back of your id card so guys let me do that right away so guys now you can see it's capturing so guys now you can see what's written here uploading so guys let's just wait for a few seconds then we're over to the next step so guys now you can see the back of the id card has been captured so let me tap on next so guys now you can see here's the next step you can see what's written there ready to take a selfie you can see the instructions given down below the first one is remove anything that covers your face second one is take off your glasses to prevent any glare or reflections while the last one is take your selfie in a well-lit space or environment so guys if you've done all that what you have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on this right away so guys, what you have to do now is to place the camera on your face you can see the instructions on the screen they say move closer you can see i'm moving closer so guys what you have to do is just to follow the instructions on the screen as you can see it's analyzing my face as you can see now it's verifying my face so guys let's just use a few seconds so guys now you can see what is written here reviewing it can take up to two minutes we will notify you once your information has been reviewed feel free to explore our app in the meantime so guys now what i have to do now is to tap on where it is written back to home page you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on this right away so guys now you can see i'm back to the home page so what i have to do now is to tap on where it is written check status you can see what is written there we are processing your identity verification check status so guys let me tap on check status right away So guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what is written there confirm your personal info notice any inaccuracy edit info so guys what you have to do now is to check all of this personal information check if they're actually correct check your first and your middle name check your last name if they are correct check your date of birth your nationality and also your national id card number you have to check if they're actually correct if you notice any inaccuracy you can go ahead to edit it so guys now after you're done checking all of this and they are correct what you have to do now is to check that box on the left hand side by tapping on it you're actually acknowledging that all your personal information are actually accurate so guys now let me tap on the box to mark it then let me tap on continue let me tap on next so guys now you can see here's the next step you can see what's written there enter your address address of your primary residence PO box or business address are not accepted. So what you have to do now is to enter your address. Some government issued ID card like your driver's license have your address at the front of your ID card. But for some ID cards like the um, national ID card, you can't find the address there. 
what they have to do is just to impute your address where you live the address that you're using actually registering for your national id card what they have to do now is to impute the address so guys let me go ahead now to impute my address right away so let me go ahead now to impute my street address my city my state and also my postal code which is also called the zip code so guys let me do that right away real quick so guys now you can see i've imputed my street address my city slash town my state slash province and also my postal code which is my zip code so guys what i have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see what's written here reviewing hang tight for just a moment so let's just wait for just a moment wow guys you can see you have successfully verified our identity you can see what is written there identity verified you have completed your identity verification get started on your crypto journey now wow guys can see you have successfully verified our identity so let me go back now so guys now you can see so guys if i come to the end of this video there is something we actually need to check we need to confirm if actually we are verified on this account we need to check if the verification tick is on our account so guys now for you to find that you have to tap on that icon there at the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys what you have to do next is to tap on where you can see profile and settings you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see the verified right there written in green this is to confirm that our account is actually verified our identity is verified so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe i've been able now to show you guys how you can create an okx account and also how you can actually verify it so guys i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from it if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that anybody release new videos like this one you're gonna get notified see you in the next upload bye bye peace